You ready? One o'clock. One oh one, actually. I am ready. I was getting ready to share it on a page and we are recording. Welcome to Ready, Set, Real Estate and leave it up to my co-host, Anthony Lee, to make sure he is cracking whips on me. Wow. He's like, uh, it's time. <laughs> Let's get this going. Anthony, welcome to the show. Shout out to uh, all the Philly fam. And um, I'm really excited about today's show because uh, we're bringing it back to basics, back to basics. And I think you are the perfect person. I not. I shouldn't just say you. We <laughs> are the perfect team building here to uh, bring it in on purchasing your first time, uh, your first property, uh, jumping in on credit repair and just a plethora of much more. But we're only going to give you a taste because this only runs for about 20 minutes and we won't do the crash course. You know, that is not <laughs> what I do. It's not what we're going to use Anthony's time to do because he's got events coming up. I've got events coming up. Stay tuned to the show. Subscribe, like, share at L.A. Super Agent. Subscribe, like A. Lee Real, Real Estate. Estate. I mean, you already have the resources. Stay connected. I'm just going to take care of logistics to make sure that I share this to your page, Anthony. And um, that way everyone is connected, tapped in and tuned in. And I'm like so stoked. So stoked. Well, I'm glad and I appreciate you having me back on. Of course. Hello. <laughs> we are definitely going to have you on regularly because for those of you who are new to the show, new to Lee Support to Super Agent Anthony Lee, Philly realtor, investor, and author. And Anthony released his first book. Gosh, it's this year and it's about to end already. So I'm I feel like you you have another book in you. Uh oh. Yes. Uh oh. No? Yes. Yes, we do. <laughs> we will we will most certainly, I'm pretty sure. Give me till about I don't know, the the spring. Once I finish that that rehab, I'll be able to give you some do's and don'ts to flipping your first property. Nice. So no pressure there, no pressure there. You say um, it so casually. <laughs> yeah, of course. This is what we do. So today's topic, and like I said, so Anthony Lee is based out. We speak about, especially when we talk about content and in the book, it is. I just realized I <laughs> did you hear myself. Um, I just uh, so we're talking about general content and it's great to get hooked up with people who are state specific in your locale, because, of course, uh, the, the the ordinances, the laws, the regulations do change from state to state. But in terms of general information, that's where we're going to go in and we're going to build. And like I said, get connected because Anthony has an event coming up, right? Yes. I didn't miss it. Right? So okay, that, we, are, we are having Real Estate 100 Presents, How to Purchase Your First Home by the New Year. Um, nice. Well, by 2018. So that's going to be October 24th um, at 6.30 p.m. at 2424 East York Street at 2424 Studios. It's going to be myself. We're going to have a mortgage lender, credit repair counselor, and a few other people on a panel basically helping you guys get everything you need to purchase your first house, whether you want to buy it by the end of this year or whether you just want to get things in motion. So next year, when you feel like you're ready, whether you get that tax return or that job promotion, now you can buy that first house. Um, if you follow me on social media, A. Lee Real Estate or Anthony Lee, you will be able to see that flyer. Got it. Yeah, you're plugged in. You're plugged in. I and I pop, popped it up on the screen so that they have it. A Lee, Re, A Lee Real Estate on social media. So good. So today, let's jump in really on just getting started, right, Anthony? I'm. I will be. I will. I don't know. I don't know where to start. I just know I work. I got I have some money saved up. I don't have a lot. 
I really don't know what to expect. I just know I want to do something differently that maybe my parents, friends, relatives, associates, colleagues have done traditionally different. And that's moving from a renting uh, for the last 15, 20 years to, I, I just feel like I wanna do something different and I wanna actually own something. Where do I start? So where you would start is you, well, actually you started, you made the decision that that's what you wanna do. Once you make that decision, you will want to contact your local real estate agent, your local realtor, preferably me, um, Anthony Lee. And from there, I'm going to meet with you and do a consultation. The things that I'm going to ask you and I'm going to want to know or need to know in order to assist you is, hey, if the world is perfect, again, only if the world is perfect, where would you live as far as location? Because in a Philadelphia market, there's a whole bunch of different areas to move to and there's properties all over and the market is very high. So if we can narrow down a specific neighborhood and maybe some things that you really want, like central air, finished basement, or you want a three bedroom or a four bedroom, that'll help me be able to guide you. But once we do that and we know like, hey, I'm really ready to do this, we're going to connect you with the mortgage team. The mortgage team can consist of either one of my mortgage lenders that has grant money if you're eligible or a mortgage lender that can work, help you and you, even though you have low credit. So when I say low credit, we can help you get approved from a 580 and above, but if you have a 640 or better, you can reap some of the other benefits of being a first time home buyer that you wouldn't be able to get because of your credit score, just you know, being at the starting point. Um, once we get the, the, the mortgage in place, you know, from there it's pretty much time to go shopping. Um, you know, it's like leave, walking out the house and you know that credit card is going to go through when you're ready to pull the trigger. I and, like generally, and generally I tell people that whole process, like once you make the decision and you're able to be approved, that whole process, let's just say, give or take, it should take about 90 days. So 90 days from, from sitting down with you, pre-approval? Pre-approval to getting those keys. Give or, Man, give or take... Give or taking schedule. Um, I mean, once you get approved, I pretty much need 30 days to help you find that dream home. Um, and then the other 60 days are going to be spent with the underwriting process of your loan being approved. It's not like when you buy a car, like, oh, you walk in, you say, I want that card and they, that car and they run your credit and it only takes 10, 15 minutes. This process can be somewhat rigorous. However, they're doing the work on your end to go through your financials and some of the documents that you provided to make sure that you really can afford this house and that they won't have to worry about foreclosing further down the line. Yeah, that, that's so important. That, that's important in terms of being ready and not having a bank foreclose on you because that, so here's the thing that I always think about, this is a referral based business. We would be doing you a disservice to put you in a property that you would lose. Um, just exactly. from just from a moral standpoint, but really, for, and from an ethical standpoint, a professional standpoint, like I like to tell my clients, I like to tell people, I love to sleep at night, like for real, even though I get very minimal because I'm highly creative and I'm doing all kinds of creative things, um, I still want to enjoy the five, six hours of sleep that I do get, knowing that I'm doing right by my clients, um, doing, doing, just doing right. Um, that sound, so you mentioned something about perfect world, right? So let's talk about the, the, the imperfect world. Uh, again, me wearing the hat as a buyer, I've had some challenges in my credit. You know, I let somebody, I signed for somebody, they didn't pay it. Now I got, you know, issues on my credit. I don't have a 700, 720 FICO, 800. I'm looking... How low, Anthony, can you make this happen? What is the magical number for so, you? As I stated here, I <laughs> so we can get you approved. It's tough, but the minimum is 580. However, okay. I have lenders that I know for sure that I've worked with clients and I can pretty much, if they say they can do it, they'll get it done. At a 600, they'll be able to get it done. But again, I'm saying at a 640 or above, you'll have more benefits as a first time home buyer, depending on which mortgage lender you have to possibly get down payment assistance, to possibly get a tax credit. Um, 
and also possibly to get a better rate. However, you know, 600, like I said, will get you in the door, but around a 640, you'll get some more of the bells and whistles of having that better credit score. Yeah. yeah. Um, I'm really happy about that. I'm having, I'm having a little feedback, Anthony. I don't know if it's from your end. Is that better? You're fine on my end. Okay, cool. So good. So you're saying ideally, if we're talking about someone who, who has pulled their credit and they now know that the score that they're working with is 600, um, it's doable. As low as 580, but you're saying to have some leverage uh, in terms of benefits and, and for the overall file so that when the lender and the underwriter looks at it, you know, they will consider it. Now, we are jumping ahead, and I'm just going to revisit this for those who are just very new to this. The type of loan that will allow you to actually um, purchase with that low of a score are what we know or call the FHA insured loans. And that's um, typically what people call the first time home buyer loans and or programs because uh, the insurer the uh, Federal Housing Administration ensures that loan for the lender who is considering taking a risk on you because um, the credit score is not ideal and you're putting less than 20% down. Right. So the reason that's all important is because that program is available for you to get your foot in the door. It's a, it's a, it's a stepping stone. Um, as you say, dream home, Anthony, are most of your clients getting dream homes or is it typically let's start here as a starter home so that you can have a five year, 10 year plan? So that's a good question. So actually, I don't know. I would say if you asked me that question last year or the year before, um, most of my clients were just starting out, getting out of college or just starting that real good career. So their income wasn't as good. So I would say they were getting their starter homes. So I have a nice crowd right now where some people are getting their starter homes and some people are getting their dream home. Um, but again, dreams change. So that dream home today actually could have turned out to be that starter home because for whatever reason or another, your family size changes. Next thing you know, you're ready to upgrade or you're ready to downgrade, whichever happens. However, um, but I would just say general rule of thumb for first time home buyers, just because you get approved for a certain amount, that does not mean that you have to spend that amount. Um, get what you feel comfortable and get what you know you can pay without any hiccups. At the end of the day, everything's on you. If the roof needs repair, the central air goes out or the plumbing breaks, you still gotta pay the mortgage. It still do no matter what. Um, and then you still gotta repair and do everything else. Meanwhile, still live life, take care of your family. So I try to tell people, you know, it's no point if you got to work seven days out of the week just to, you know, pay for your household expenses. You're working too hard, in my opinion. Some people like to work that much. But I always say there's no point in buying a house if you're not going to be able to live in it and enjoy it. It's basically like a hotel because you're never there. Man, see, this, this is what I'm really happy about. Is, and see, this is why I know we're kindred in that way is because. I, in my practice, in my business, it is absolutely the same way I say, tell people, do not let this home ownership dream become a nightmare. Don't let it become a nightmare. And how do you avoid the re real estate regret? Um, my partner and I, we did a show on this uh, maybe two weeks ago. And there are some things that you have to factor in, like Anthony was saying, is minding the cost, making sure that you're uh, you're factoring that you still might want to go to the movies, get your hair done, go shopping, do all these nice things that you enjoy. So those things have to be accounted for when you're out there looking. And I, I, again, Anthony, I'm amazed as a professional how easily people max their budget. It, it happens all the time, but that's just where. I don't know, getting the right people on your team and just being patient. Um, you know, like some people, some of the clients, they're worried about wasting my time. And I tell them, you're not wasting my time. Like when you go through this home buying process, 
it should feel good the whole way through. You'll have some small frustrations, but it shouldn't right. feel like somebody's forcing you or beating you over the head. So, right. you know, when we go into these homes, I really just sit back. I don't tell you about this and that. I want you to feel that special feeling that you should get when you walk into a home. And I can't really describe it because that feeling isn't something that's describable. It's just something that you feel you know once you walk into that house. So I don't have to say anything else. You'll tell me once you get it. And normally you can get it, you'll get it once you go through the living room. You'll you'll just get that vibe and that feeling. And then from there, mm -hmm. if we know you really want that, that's when the next step will be to do the home inspection so that you know for sure the people selling that house took care of it or they rehabbed it the right way so that you won't have those issues we talked about of incidentals or repairs mm -hmm down the line or at least you know hopefully in a not the first six to eight months right very very true very valid information if you're just joining us we are on with anthony lee who's my guest co-host my philly realtor partner and my co-author we have authored um the teen and millennial investment blueprint right, now i gotta get copy anthony <laughs> You know I can't plug without holding it up. <laughs> I know. No. There we go. If you, you know, if you have not grabbed a copy of this book, first off, let me just say this. It's one thing to see and hear people support one another. But in terms of doing, breathing, eating real estate, like this is next level, right? This is next level. Um, that we dropped some gems. I, I just really thank Anthony for sharing his knowledge and his experience because he is a seasoned investor. He shares his how he went from purchasing his first property. And instead of going the traditional route that people only think one house or single family, it's it's a stepping stone to level up to buying a couple properties and so forth. And now he's got a portfolio that he manages um, with tenants and he tells his story. So if you haven't had a chance to get the book, get the book. So welcome. You are. Well, just get the book and, and just stop. And I have to plug it here. <laughs> where to get where do we get the book? Realestate100.net. Anthony's got it on his website. Um, AleeRealEstate.com. Right. And don't forget, it's also on a ma major websites, Barnes and Nobles, um, Amazon, Amazon um, but, and over um, 70 online retailers. OK. <laughs> right. But, you know, support the local the locals and go to our websites and, you know, we'll make sure. Or, hey, I tell people, if you're in the local area, call me. You can call me. I'll meet with you and give you a signed copy right on the spot. Right. Right. So as we're coming to a close, because um, like I said, I didn't want this to be a crash course just wanted to connect people with what's happening especially with what we've been doing and i'm just going to come in here and just remind people what we're doing with the ready set real estate show that anthony is a huge part of um so this show this channel the work that i put my name on everything that i brand on and people that i bring on board is actually to support our nonprofit real estate 100 youth foundation which we have done great things and we continue to expand to do great things anthony actually goes into the schools in his local community and he works with uh the youth there and presenting the how to the careers and exposing them to another means of making money and we're not just saying any kind of money this is special money <laughs> this industry offers special money, but also just exposes them to learning real estate literacy before they go to college. And there's tons of things that you um, can see and check us out that we're doing. I'm going to plug in our uh, nonprofit website here, realestate100use.org. Go ahead and support that. Tax time is coming up. If you do need that write off, I am asking. Don't forget it. Don't forget I, mean, it. I am asking. Don't forget to donate. We are 501c3. So please be sure to just either sign up for a monthly subscription. That's why it's not a one time hard hit for you. Uh, but if you want to do the one time, we welcome that. Anything we do welcome because it's to bring the books, the workbooks, the programs, 
and just spread that word, spread, spread that message. So again, realestate100youth.org is the nonprofit that our channel that we support, and that's what's happening. Anthony, tell us about this event that's coming up. Um, October 24th, the first time home buyer event. So that's going to be at the 2424 Studios um, in, on York Street. Again, you're going to have myself, you're going to have Josh, our credit specialist, Bill, Isaiah, and a few other people all on the panel. We're basically giving you the one-stop shop to purchasing your first home or even helping you purchase your second home. But whether you want to buy a single family, a duplex, triplex, we can help you do it. Like I said, credit score, minimum of 580, but preferably a 600 or better. Once you get to a 640, we'll give you all the bells and whistles we can give you. Give us about 90 days. We'll be at the house warming. Right. And this team that you have, like, you guys are doing stuff. I'm just, I get so pumped to see oh. the work that you guys are putting in. And I, you have some news to share? I do want to share. So um, people, people may not notice, but if you look on the panel now, we have females. So Danielle and, well, there's two Danielles, Danielle Smallwood and Danielle Gatling. They will also be joining the team or have joined the team. It's still somewhat in the works, but they will be on the panel. So sometimes people ask me, hey, you're always just working with guys. No, I work with everybody. Um, so just know that there also will be females joining the team and they will be starting and they're, they're ready to help everybody purchase a home. Did you have, you know, we also on one of the shows, we had one of the female flippers come on. We did. Yeah, we did. so they're out there, we're just connecting and it's just us collaborating with schedules, but we are out there, we are doing it. So don't even, don't. Yeah. So don't actually shout out this. to, Shout out to Keisha as well. She's opening up a new business um, and she's killing it. She went from flipping and now she's getting ready to open up her first commercial uh, space. Um, so she's definitely leveling that's up. That's awesome. Shout out to Deals and Heels. That's what I remember. Her her yes. social media. That's, that's Deals, Deals and, and Heels. heels. Yes. <laughs> All right, cool. So we're going to get ready to wrap up. Um, there, again, it's on the timeline. Get Stay connected. And again, we continue to bring valuable information, powerful information already set real estate. And again, if you don't know what's going on in your locale, please make sure you reach out to myself, to Anthony. And I mean, this is a mindset shift. This is why we're doing it, because this is one of the ways to generational wealth. All right, you guys, have a powerful, productive week. Anthony, thank you for coming on. I will speak to you soon. Uh, thank you. Thank you for having me, man. And definitely, let's let's keep moving and keep pushing. I'm telling you, 2018 is going to be beautiful for everybody. Absolutely. Looking forward. All right. We're signing off, you guys. Have a great week. We'll see you next week, Wednesday, on Ready, Set, Real Estate. Have a go.